Hi Gemini, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your, what is it, April, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bend my cards, April 23rd through the 30th. Uh, generally my readings are love readings, we're going to see whatever comes up here. I just want to remind you guys that it is Saturn retrograde and if you don't know about Saturn retrograde, it's a period uh, April 17th through September 3rd where karma is at play so dirty deeds and good deeds it's a time of payback okay so just keep that in mind all right if someone goes to pick a fight with you back away and I know that's hard for a Gemini to back away but it could end in a war all right so um, there's just if you don't know what it is look up Saturn retrograde okay because it's this is about karma coming back around okay if good ways and bad ways Four of Cups reversed. There could be a new offer. Somebody may be accepting some love. Okay, they may be deciding to accept it, love, or give it away. You know, I don't want it. Nope. Nope, I don't want this offer. Just have getting the offer and dropping it. No, I don't want this offer. Or it could be accepting an offer. It can go both ways. Yeah, some of you are reluctant to see a new approach. You're reluctant to move forward in a dire in some direction. It's like, I don't know. I don't want to. Ooh, so we have the tower. We have some sort of faded event. Okay, so this is April 23rd through the 30th. Uh, you know, these readings are fluid. The timing is fluid. Could have happened, maybe happening, could be happening in the future. Either way, we have the tower here because somebody is refusing to move forward. So when something needs to move forward and somebody refuses to do it, the universe may come out and say, you know what, you don't have a choice. I'm going to help you with this. Okay, the tower is an event or a happening or a instance that comes about to change your life for the better. Although it may not feel like it's for the better while it's happening. All right, you could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, okay? And I feel like whatever is happening is um, bringing out your strength. It's bringing out your confidence and courage. So I do feel like there is something happening that is probably pushing you to be courageous during this time. You are learning some sort of lesson here, and you are going to be successful, okay, with the World Card. I feel as though you've learned something really, really big and you have a major new beginning right in front of you. Maybe, you, maybe you've been resisting this new beginning. Yeah, somebody hasn't been, been, been treated fairly, okay? With a justice card, there could have been some, a divorce could be on the horizon. There could be some legal issues or you could just be dealing with somebody who is dishonest and untrustworthy. Either way, karmic lesson so we do have a karmic lesson here whether it, it is you are involved in this karmic lesson the person that you're dealing with is too okay and like I mentioned at the beginning of this reading it is a time of karma showing its ugly face and sometimes karma is good sometimes it's bad okay so I feel like there's been some sort of injustice here and the universe sees the injustice, they see the unfairness, and they're coming in to help someone move forward. Yep, there's been some lies. There's been some lies. There's been some sneaky behavior. <coughs> maybe even some cheating. Somebody has been, you know, you could be, maybe somebody's been robbing you. Somebody's definitely been betraying you in some way. With this Seven of Swords, there's some lies here. Next to the Justice Reverse, you are dealing with a dishonest individual. And this is a karmic lesson in which, you know, the universe is all over here. We have universe twice, okay? I consider the Tower a universal card. The universe is here to say, boom, boom. But a bigger, much bigger boom than that. 
You know, they're, they're here because there's been no forward movement and something needs to change. Okay. So we have a karmic lesson on the horizon because somebody has been lying. Yep, somebody's been wasting your time. Somebody has been wasting your time, haven't they, Gemini? And it feels as though, you know, you don't, they're, they're stalling you for move. They're stalling your, your plans for the future. You know, they're stalling your efforts, you know, that you've been making. Whoever you're dealing with, you know, is holding you back and, and, you really have to go down the path that you want to go down. You really have to do what's best for you. And you really need to figure it out, what you, it is that you really, really want. And I think that some of you have been reluctant to move forward from a situation because change is scary. Change is scary. So many of you have been only focusing on what's happening now, not really focusing on the future. And what's happening now is holding you back you can understand that um, there's a lot of conflicts here you're dealing in in you're dealing with somebody that is very sneaky very very sneaky you're dealing with somebody that is a sneaky individual here okay I mean these cards are almost one and the same for me I mean this is like almost like a feeling of disgust Okay, I feel like there are some ties that need to be severed and you are reluctant to sever the ties. So the universe is here to say, you know, I consider the tower a big, I know the world is, but this is a big universe card. The tower, the universe is here to say, you need to sever these ties. You need to walk away from this situation. There's too many conflicts. It's time to give up. Give up the fight. Just walk away. Just walk away. But you're reluctant. You're reluctant to release. You're holding on. You're holding on to something. You truly are. You are holding on to something and the universe sees that you are. You're holding on to something that is, is pretty much done but you're reluctant to move forward. This fear of change is huge here. Let me get this zoomed in. So. I feel like you guys are refusing or, or, yeah, you're refusing to release something that doesn't serve you anymore. Refusing to let it go. And it's bringing you a lot of struggles. It's bringing you a lot of conflict. Maybe it's you that's wearing the mask. Maybe it's you that's lying to yourself. I don't know. Either somebody is lying to you or you're lying to yourself. And you are being called to find the courage and the confidence to release, but I don't think that, you know, you're, you don't, you're, you have this fear of change because you're reluctant to move on, reluctant to let go, to see the truth. Yeah, but you've been betrayed. You've been stabbed. You've been hurt. Somebody has betrayed you. And it's time for it to end. It's time for it to end. And the universe knows that it's time for it to end. Maybe you were dealing with somebody that was just after you for your money. They've stolen your money. Or they've stolen your security and your self-worth and your self-esteem. It's time to close this door. And I feel like you guys are just, and you may be dealing with somebody or you, there's illegal dealings here. That's what it looks like to me. It's like there's some sort of thievery, all right? 
and it feels like somebody is being, you are dealing with somebody who is very ruthless and greedy and materialistic, whether it's you or the other person. Money is the most important thing to somebody in your picture. What they can get from, from you financially, materialistically, whatever. It's costing you some money. You're dealing with somebody who is trying to get your money or your assets. They're using you, basically. Ooh, and you're being called to put yourself first, love yourself. Where's your self worth? I feel like you guys are really, really compassionate. You do. You have a lot of compassion. And that's probably why you're letting this go on. Because you have a lot of compassion for whoever this is that you're dealing with. But you need to be your own advocate. You know, it, it looks like it's time for you to regain your focus, find your backbone, do the right thing. This is about integrity, the Page of Pentacles. This is where, where you need to find the integrity to take charge of this situation and be your own advocate to find the contentment that you need in your life. You guys are going through a period of growth right now and somebody's trying to take advantage of you. I think you have an opportunity to broaden your horizons. And take the next step. You have this fear of change like we've already talked about. But anyway, I feel like you guys have a new opportunity. You could have a new beginning. And you could have it. This could be a love partner or it could be a new job, new security. You have a new opportunity for something coming in this week. Where whoever this is, they, they would probably very much appreciate you. But you have to be open and committed to doing the right thing before that happens because this is about integrity. I think that there's somebody in your life that is using you and you fear change so you aren't making a move. So that's why the tower is here. The tower is here to force you to make a move, to take the next step, to stop playing games with this player that you've been playing with. Whether it's a child or a partner, you've been playing with somebody and they're lying to you. And it looks like you probably have a new opportunity to work together with someone else that would be bring you more contentment. But it feels like you're just going through this you're unable to let go. You're unable to let go of this family dynamic situation. Again, this is the Ten of Coins reverse. Again, now we've had this over and over and over again. This Ten of Pentacles reverse. That's family feuds. Damn it. 
Son of a bitch. I mean, come on now. But the tower is here, so the tower might split this up. They might bring things to the surface, finally. Because you're, oh, you've been stuck in this rut with somebody that you're probably living with. Or, yeah, could be that you're living with. And you haven't been able to move forward because change sucks. But I see that you have a new, more stable, secure opportunity. Now, you may have been dealing with a Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo that is using you. And now you may have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that is more stable and secure. I don't know. Could have a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that has betrayed you. You've, had, you've been betrayed by somebody, but you're reluctant to let them go, and you have a new opportunity. But you're unable to move on. So I think that tower is here to push you in a new direction. Because where you're at now, there's no harmony. There isn't. There's no balance. There's losses. There's financial losses. There's losses, period. Something is a complete mess. And you're being called to do the right thing, even if it hurts. Broaden your horizons, expand yourself, move on from this situation. Do the practical thing here. Go find somebody that will appreciate you rather than use you. Get on your horse and trot on out of there. It's time for you to put yourself in the driver's seat. Take the lead. Be the boss. Replace the fear with faith. Find your mental strength. And head out of this situation that you have been reluctant to let go of because you have so much compassion. Somebody's using you. It's time for you to master your emotions and get the hell out of there. Remember what I said about karma. If you don't, you can't enable people, okay? If you are enabling somebody, you're bringing yourself bad karma. And, and, and I understand it has to do with compassion. You're compassionate. I see that. But you enabling somebody is not helping them to learn their lessons. And it doesn't prove that you love yourself enough to stand up for yourself. If you're letting somebody take advantage of you, you're not telling the universe that you're worthy. So they're going to continue to bring you lessons until you feel worthy. We got two. So you get to breathe. The breath is a vital bridge between your body and soul. It's the connection between the inside and outside, connecting you to the universe. Spirit and the divine source. The breath permeates your entire being with prana, which is the same life-giving force that nourishes everything in the universe. Breath or breathe. Inspire, inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired, blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is a time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. It is time to set new goals, and I believe that's why that tower is here. Change is needed. I feel like you guys have a new, secure, stable opportunity waiting for you. 
as soon as you put yourself in the driver's seat and master your emotions and take the lead. Talk to you later.